I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. Okay, so let's meditate. And in the spirit of the word for meditation uh, in Pali, the language of early Buddhism, uh, which is typically translated as cultivation, bhavana, bhavana, let's explore the cultivation of some of the skillful means that the Buddha offered for steadiness of mind. So to begin with, establish a posture and establish a sense of being present in which you disengage from everyday concerns. You let the worries go, you set them aside for a time. The Buddha talked about, you know, find a place in the forest at the base of a tree, wherever you are, uh, sitting in whatever you're sitting or sitting or standing, walking or lying down, establish yourself as the Buddha recommended. Find a posture that is comfortable, but also helps you be alert, typically with an uprightness, a kind of dignity. Eyes open or closed. You can bring to mind images of figures in meditation, perhaps Buddha figures or those from other traditions, with a sense of the stability, the quiet dignity, the physical ease in their posture. The grounded intention to come into the present steadily aware By becoming increasingly stable and steady in our presence, we become quieter and more stable inside ourselves and more able to observe the noisy, busy, darting in one direction or another habits of the mind. So in this meditation, I'm going to focus on some traditional suggestions for developing greater steadiness of mind. This involves becoming increasingly absorbed in some particular object of attention. This is called a focused attention meditation distinct from an open awareness meditation. It's a little more muscular. It's more applied. Think of it as a training for the next 25 minutes. So pick some object of attention. Typically, it's the sensations of breathing. But for some, that can be kind of alarming, especially if they've had a trauma history. So feel free to pick a word, a mantra, an image, or if you can stay with it, a feeling like compassion or gratitude. So no 
what your object of attention is, and give yourself over to it. For example, if you are aware of breathing, you can apply your attention to the inhalation at the very beginning of it and sustain your attention to it along its whole course. And you can apply your attention to the exhalation as it starts and sustain your attention to it along its whole course. So I'll be quiet for some moments as you explore what it's like to apply and sustain attention to the breath or some other object of attention over and over again. In this type of focused attention meditation, we are training greater steadiness of mind by becoming increasingly absorbed in the object of meditation. We're not trying to suppress thoughts or or sounds or other things. We're simply disengaging from them. We're not giving them any energy and instead we are becoming increasingly absorbed in the object of attention. So I'll be quiet again for some moments. You can continue applying and sustaining attention if that helps. Although over time the deliberate effort to apply and sustain attention can gradually fall away as you are simply in and more and more deeply in your object of attention, such as the feeling of breathing. If it's helpful, You can be aware of breathing in one place, like around the upper lip and nose, or you can feel it more broadly in your whole chest and even your whole body. So again, I'll be quiet for a time here as you explore becoming increasingly absorbed in your object of meditation.
If you're attending to breathing, see if you can really be in the sensations of breathing, such as the air flowing in through your nose and into your lungs, expanding your chest, and flowing out again as your chest falls. Becoming devoted to the breath in effect and renouncing all else. Become becoming one with breathing. Letting go of controlling the breath. Perhaps a growing sense of being breathed. If your mind wanders, there are simple things you can do, such as softly noting, inhaling when you're inhaling, exhaling when you're exhaling, such as in, out, or rising, falling. It might help to count each breath. You can count up to four and start over. See if you can get to seven and start over. Maybe get to 10 and start over. Or no noting or counting if that gets in the way. Becoming one with your object of attention. Letting go of everything else that isn't it.
And now as an experiment, see what happens when you gently invite heartfeltness, open-heartedness, lovingness into your experience while staying in touch with your object of attention. Can you include heartfeltness in ways that support your steadiness of mind?
stable, present, absorbed in your object of attention, including some sense of being heartfelt. Thank you.